Welcome back, Alexandrian Codex. Rimworld. Waterproof conduit. Oh, transmitting power under shallow water. That's pretty cool. Uh, we need power to run through here. We need some fucking batteries. <laughs> I don't know if I mentioned it, but uh, we are in need of batteries. We How are we doing on food? We're doing okay on food. Please go in the cave, go in the cave, go in the cave. Just make my fucking day by going in the cave. Please, God, go in the cave. Oh, that's a raid. Manatee? Okay, at least it's only one person. Great memory. It's pretty cool. Probably not going to make good use of it. You got a wooden foot? Hmm. Well, they're not attacking. They're just organizing right now, so I'm just going to let you stew and slowly develop hypothermia. While we run around inside doing jack shit. Two colonists idle. It's fine. Fine. Yep, oh, there they go. Right, you, you, and you get recruited. Go over here. Stand near the killing fields. <laughs> the little droplets for missed shots are kind of cool. Okay, time to leave. Time to leave. Oh, and selling time to go, buddy. We have a uh, steel club. I get that limestone club. Let me get out of here. Fallen stone's the one I want to get heat hurt, hit the least, because you're our doctor. God, God help us, but you're the doctor. Ah, how you doing? Bruise, knife, bruise, human fist. Okay, neither of those are really concerning at all, thank god. <laughs> Be a doctor? Nah, I think I'm going on a walk. <laughs> I'm gonna, gonna take a nap instead of tending to people. Hey, you're the only one with any medical skill. Fucking do your job. <laughs> Set as a number one priority for you. What are you doing? Oshi, you're gonna make me so fucking happy when you finish those batteries. You have no goddamn idea. Oh, it is pretty hot in here. We can deconstruct this fireplace now. By that I mean, please God, deconstruct the fireplace. Are you starving? Ah, uh, your food needs are getting kind of high. Clear loud areas. Yeah, animals not allowed in there anymore. Yeah. They ran out of kibble. We don't really have much plant matter to make them kibble with, so... This is gonna be an issue. There we go. Fire's gone, so the temperature is now gonna be okay. Great. Battery acquired. I go power right in here, pop down a awkwardly placed battery, admittedly, but... Hell yeah. Construction botched. Hell no. Being blocked by your thing? No. Ah, Alright. Fallen Sullivan, buddy, trade with this person. Hope that they have... Oh, they got pemmican. And they could eat the pemmican. How much you got? Fuck okay, I'll take it. <laughs> I'm not, not crazy about it, but I'll take it. And I'll take that, and... I can sell you all the shit I don't want. That's great. So 
So the pemmican will be stored down here. I think the cows will eat. Processed food, meals, yeah, they'll eat pemmican. Remember how I was talking about that we could use this for heat generation? Look at how much I'm not using it for heat generation. <laughs> mm. Okay, I want to finish mining this out, and the reason I want to do that is I kind of just want to make a body cave down here until we get a uh, crematorium up and running. We should not just be having eight meals a day. We need at least 12 meals on hand at any given time, given how many people we have. It means we should probably hunt some, which means Hoshi. Go cook that chorpo. Is there a research project that feels pressing right now? Not really. Hydroponics matter, but uh, solar panels could also be nice. Geothermal power would be really nice, actually. The 20 pemmican at a time. Yeah, pemmican don't really have a lot of nutritional value to them. Tree sowing. Oh, we can't sow trees. Huh. Interesting. Listen, this is way ahead of time. I'm just... Go research geothermal power. It'll be a fucking game changer if or when we get it. I know it'll take a lot of time and it's gonna keep somebody occupied, but it's it's a goal we're pursuing. Oh, well, goodbye to the pemmican. It is the 13th of September. Holy shit, we're barely in the fall. These cows are not gonna make it. <laughs> uh, they're fucked. They're, they're absolutely fucked. What are you doing just wandering around here? Hopefully I can sell them to someone, but I, I wouldn't count on it. The cows were a mistake. eat human meat. Yeah, probably. But we're not going to be getting enough human meat to feed two cows on. We can eat... We can keep one cow alive that way, maybe? But we're, we're as of one day from now, halfway through fall. So we're only a quarter of the way through how long we need these animals to make it through. Oh, good. That's dangerous. Where the hell is Taya? She's way the fuck up here? Oh, wow. Game, thank you. So the game used to be really shitty about not notifying you when you were getting hunted. This is much better heads up. Yeah, we're not doing peace talks. <laughs> we, I ain't got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Right, uh, you two go inside. That cougar's mounting line is on its way over. Is it giving up or is it still hunting her? Looks like it gave up. Yeah, I gave up. Four Eyes, you're not very good at intellectual work, are you? Well, no, but you really do love it, so fine. Oh, she's on an insulting spree. I know <laughs> Straw was because of the awful barracks. All right, yeah. You know, message received. I'll try to fix things up a little bit. All right, cows, I'm sorry. You gotta go. We don't have enough food. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Cancel. Kill the, kill the bull. Keep the one that gives us milk. Because it might just give us enough milk in the next few days to make it worthwhile.
Okay, this is cleared out. Great. Uh, this is a dumping stockpile. As of uh, important quality, clear all. This is only for human white corpses. Get these bodies out of here. Take them to the body cave! So when we're walking around, you're not getting so stressed out all the time. Right, indoors has a decent temperature, outside is fucking freezing. That's fine. That's fine. Yep. Alright, well that was bound to happen eventually. It destroyed the meals! Okay, that's sad. That's okay. We have enough food in reserve. All we have to do is go hunting a little bit. Hunting a little bit. Go ant hunting? Hell no! <laughs> we are nowhere near ready for that. You know, it is nighttime. I could sneak in there and steal more jelly, but it's like one. One meal worth of jelly? It's not worth it. Not at all worth it. <laughs> I'm pretty happy, I gotta say, with the... Wow, okay. So look like you've been here for a while. Four Eyes thinks you should give your faction a name. Planet Covenant of Menhoar. Nah. Nah. And to give the settlement a name. Oh god. What do we what do we got? Presidio, Mushroomville, Unfar, Seahurst, Mingowick, Lobo, Presidio. <laughs> Merry band of fuck ups. Go with Taya Town, but the name of the settlement. She is our first person. Southwestern Ban War Alliance, Unification of Ordo. You are Birium. <laughs> yes, we left. Wow, this is a weird. I, I gotta say, this random title generation's not bad. Some random shit in here. Uh. Go with that. It's our 1.0 game. Don't need to get too creative about it yet. Yet. Alright, Bone Stalin. Bring home dinner. Major break risk. Kyle, what's your deal? Unsightly environment. Insult it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know it's ugly. I know. You know what? We can work on it. We'll smooth out those floors. <laughs> it does make it prettier to have smooth floors. It it's stupid, and it really isn't a significant difference, but it's something I can do without spending resources or throwing people outside. And it gets Taya, in particular, better at crafting, or constructing anyway. Yeah, there's no way I'm getting plant products before the end of winter, so that cow's just gonna have to die. Prioritize butcher. Okay, good. Please prioritize butchering that rather than just being cool with the body laying around on the floor. <sighs> ooh, ooh, well, lots of pigs out here. We're good on food for now. For now. Not forever, but we're doing okay. We'll pretty up this room, then make everyone bedrooms. Unfortunately, these people suck at mining, so making them decent sized bedrooms is gonna be uh, a little tricky. I heard something dying over here. Ah, okay, fair enough.
Winter has begun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's fine. It's been so long. But you, you have set recreation time. Why are you not using it to have fun? Or are you just not having fun because... Hmm. Yeah, you just need more, uh, more fun sources. Well, that's understandable, but can't really be accomplished right now. Yeah, I'm thinking we'll set up a chess table, but we gotta get bedrooms up before that, because we gotta get these fucking beds out of here. And yeah, I know, I could've gotten these folks to have smaller beds. I think I'm gonna go with barracks. To be honest, uh, rather than individual bedrooms, just it tends to be a more efficient way to to be up space. But I'm gonna want one, two, a space between the beds, one, two. Probably that. I don't think Taya likes anyone right now. Uh, Taya hates Hoshi, their rivals. You're friends with uh, Balan Stalin and Taya are friends, four eyes. Taya, our friends. Balan Stalin's an acquaintance of Hoshi. Four Eyes is an acquaintance of Hoshi. <laughs> Hoshi considers Taya to be a friend, even though uh, Taya doesn't like her. Okay. Alright. Weird. We're rivals. We're friends. Mm, one of you's not right. Far be it for me to say which. Hello, piggies. You like to. I'm living my. I'm living my freezing. Lots of room. Hunting, even if unnecessary, is good training to get your shooting skill higher. Alan's telling about the about the snap recreation start. Listen, buddy, we you have set recreation time. What? If, maybe it's not enough. I'm going to double everyone's recreation time. You got me that hat. I guess you're out of bed now. Good morning. Well, good afternoon. It's 2.30. <laughs> and yeah, the hat's hiding my really bad bed head. It's, it's bath hair, actually. My hair gets very poofy after taking bath, and it stays that way for a few days. <laughs> Fair enough. I mean, you. There are days where I don't get out of bed till like four or five, so I'm not. I'm not poking fun. I just can't really say good morning at this point. <laughs> All right, this is coming along okay. Less, less people upset about how ugly it is in here. It's still as ugly in here, but because the cows aren't in here, I guess they're a little cooler with it. Deconstruct this. Is that really as fast as Four Eyes goes? That's really slow. Buddy, you are... Ah, uh, yeah, food poisoning. Okay, that's fair. into some difficulty with setting up a barracks, but it should be okay. What killed this wolf? 
Ah, the warg down here. Okay, yeah, fair. <laughs> gonna start keeping a scoreboard for your kids. Well, as of this date, you were my favorite because of this thing, but then you did this and you earned daddy's favorite. <laughs> it's fine as long as you never say it out loud. <laughs> I think I, I think that's the general consensus. Okay, recreation fully satisfied, so doubling ball and stall ends. Recreation time, yeah, people are a lot happier now that they have four hours a day of recreation. Okay, we're almost done with the floors. Good God. We can finally move into carving out a whole second room. <laughs> don't hunt that rat. I don't really... Wait a minute, no, no, don't hunt the rat. Uh, it might be too late. Yeah, don't hunt the rat. The rat and the raccoon are eating the bodies in the cave. Hell yeah, raccoon. We got You and I... Got a good relationship going on here. I welcome the cannibal raccoons. I welcome the man-eating raccoons. Sincerely. If they eat these bodies and make the bodies freak out my people less, all the better. Psychic Soothe is very welcome. Very, very welcome. We're having a bit of a bad time. This cougar's injured. It'll die pretty soon. Got in a fight with a wolf. Bad call on its part, I guess. Four eyes is just vomiting all over the floor. you gotta be like this four eyes why you gotta be the way you are food poisoning major <sighs> god damn it no one else had food poisoning what what did you eat not harvestable. Yeah, okay. I think we have two female characters? No, we have three, okay. We can have Taya the Butterbean Bun. Ah, but we named the, the town after Taya, so that might be a bit confusing. Um, so Taya is incapable of nothing. She's ascetic. So she likes to live in ugly environments. She's a fast learner, good memory. Four eyes is incapable of caring. She's incapable of taking care of animals. She's in incapable of cooking. She's kind of worthless. She's a gourmand, so her life revolves around food. She'll go quickly hungry. She'll go hungry quickly, can occasionally be overcome with the urge to eat ravenously, even when not hungry. Yet she can't cook, so this is just bad. She walks fast, and we got Hoshi, who's incapable of dumb labor. You don't want to be Hoshi. <laughs> I, yeah, hey, Hoshi's tough. She's kind. She's industrious. Hoshi's actually not so bad. She's just incapable of dumb labor. Four Eyes is the one earning my ire right now. Oh, a whole bunch of silver? Hell yeah. It's the saddest thing I've ever heard. Yeah, we can name Taya after you. Why don't why don't we do that? It's gonna be confusing why the town's named what it is, but I care very little about that. Bye, bio, here we go. Butter bean bun. You're an inventor. Oh. 
Hoshi, Hoshi is a bit of a dick. You're not wrong. Uh, nobody likes Hoshi. Hoshi keeps insulting people. <laughs> it's weird because there's nothing in Hoshi's bio. She's kind. Hoshi's a nice person. She has a tendency to brighten everybody else's day and never insults others. Yet the first fucking thing she did was go on an insulting spree and make fun of everyone and make everyone hate her. So, Hoshi's a complicated character. We got a lot of vomit to clean up. You people do not prioritize cleaning very much, do you? You guys should make this a rank 1 priority? A rank 2 priority? So you do whatever the... Uh, yeah, it's fine. Oh, <laughs> she insults them because she cares. I guess. I don't understand Hoshi. Oh, somebody made a snow- well, kind of made a snowman. A sad snowman. We're low on medicine, but honestly I'm just impressed that we have medicine at all right now. Right, Hoshi can't haul her queen. That's part of why cleaning isn't getting done. That's fair. Well, no one's sick anymore, so hopefully... have someone clean this garbage up. Yeah, four eyes. Go clean up the vomit you made all over the place. Can you do that for me? Can you? Can you? Thank you. It's two snowmen mating? I hope not. <laughs> yeah, I picked this because there was a muffalo herd hanging out right here, but then we were running low on food, so I killed one of them. And we ran out of food again, so I killed another one. And then they started running away, and then I ran out of food again, so I killed a couple more of them. Listen, we didn't start out with the ability to make a freezer, so... I... I... I can only take some responsibility for it. Also, all of our people, like, really suck at farming. Like, really suck at farming. Oh, you know, you're right, you're right. We did kill them so Butterbean Bun would have clothes. For, uh... Blue for a tribal wear. Yeah, you're right, you're right. I don't even remember why we killed them. What are you doing? Oh, you're getting silver. Yeah, I mean, it's cold and that's a hell of a walk, but sure, yeah, that's probably worth it. Not watching? Cool, cool. Mm hmm. Yeah, I have mixed feelings about how difficult it is to get in here. <laughs> it takes a long time for us to get in and out of here, but so does it take strangers a long time to get in and out. Yeah, I'm not making you a silver pimp club. I'm just gonna sell it. Silver weapons are... Meh, they're okay, but they're much better off just being sold. The travelers are passing by. I hope you get mauled. I want to loot your bodies. I don't want you, you know, I don't want to kill you, but if something happened to you, say I want to be crying over you. There's some nice, cool caves over here you should check out. We <laughs> check out those insect hives. I'm sure nothing bad will happen at all. Let's haul these. Tell you what, it's not like, like, 500. Floors down here, gotta get smooth. Oh right, you can smooth walls now as well. Eh, yeah, fuck it, smooth the walls. Gotta live down here, no reason we should live like animals. Make the walls pretty. Smooth everything! Smooth 
everything. This is going to take a while, but it's winter and there's not much we can do except go get a little bit of food and make things pretty, and then go get a bit of food and make things pretty. And we're t technically researching something that'll be really worthwhile, like geothermal power, but it's gonna, it's gonna take a minute. It's gonna take a hot minute. And hey, this way everybody's at least getting better at stuff. Slowly getting better at constructing. Slowly. Speaking of, uh, yeah, this should count as our home area. Good, so go clean that up. This should not at all count as our home area. Game, what the fuck? Wow, Alex, you decided to put bodies down there. Don't you put bodies in your home? No, no game, I don't. Well, disturbed by the implication. How much food are we down to? Uh, about 200? Okay, listen. Raccoons, we've had a very good relationship. You've been eating the bodies, I thank you for it, but these rats and raccoons would be better off in our larder than running around free. Goodbye, Psychic Soothe, you'll be missed. You'll be missed. I'm having a hard time shooting that rat, huh? Tribe, raid, well, it's a raid of one, and it's a raid of one that might, if I'm lucky, go in here. Nope, never mind. It's just gonna take a long time. That warg's gonna hunt you, isn't it? <laughs> I don't think Pig is making it alive to us. That's all I'm saying. What a fucking name, Pig. I, I would recruit Pig. She's 55, but she has no injuries right now. Um, chemical interest sucks, but jogger means she moves faster. That's pretty good. Okay, hey, we got a visitor. <laughs> you all suck at shooting. Alright, run, 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 run. Go down here, try again. Go over here, try again. That'll work. Try to run the lung, damn. It should work. There you go. Alright. All you can go home. Would have recruited her, but instead we just pumped her full of arrows. Listen, I, I didn't invite her here. It's not my fault. That she's dead. We could really use some more animals in the neighborhood to hunt. There's food out there. I <sighs> New lovers. Bomb and Stalin. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, okay. They finally. Finally. By subtly complimenting her ears. They're finally not hating each other. It won't last. It probably won't last. But that's. That would have been nice if that had happened when uh, we got Ball and Sullen in here for the first time. Jesus Christ. Yeah. I the, the cows were a mistake. It wasn't me forgetting to make them food. It was that the grow cycle for the hay took too long. It's rebuffed like 20 times. It, it's definitely more than 20 at this point. Complimenting your ears. Chatted about getting drunk with Hoshi and Peppers. Shared a word about recreation. Great. Ah. <laughs> the game is... Yeah, the, the objective is to create as much unnecessary suffering as possible. Yep, you got it. That's definitely the goal and not just because the mistakes. Mmm, man, I'm not seeing any animals at all. We're gonna have to go on a prolonged- Never mind! I was about to say a prolonged hunting expedition, but... That's not entirely true. Clean 
rats. There's a bunch of rats. The rats just aren't worth coming down here for. That warg might be worth killing, but would be scary. <clears throat> At nighttime, we can go raid this. So, you know what? Tonight, I think uh, Balan Selwyn's gonna go on a daring raid. Try to steal some insect jelly. Is it ideal? No. No, it's not ideal. But... No, we, we do what we can. Okay, well that's close enough that we can hunt that. Run. Run. Its right eye has been cut out. <laughs> like a proper grave, please. Hey, just think of what happens if you succeed. Be a hero. Hard times call for hard measures. Alright. We're not quite to the cannibalism phase, but you know, we may not be that far off. Okay, well that's five more meals. Bolt Goods Trader! Hell yeah, we can sell a bunch of our stuff. Now, if the Bolt Goods Trader tries to go through here, we're gonna have some awkward times happen. Come on, come on, go in there. Go, damn it. Kind of rooting for the... <laughs> for them to wander in there. Ah, oh, Labradors! Labradors are really good. They also have Muffalo, which are really good. If only somebody were better at talking than, uh, Balin stuff. Oh, she's a better talker! Alright, great. I hope she can try to negotiate with these fine people. I don't think you want insect jelly. Isn't that what honey is? We have insect jelly. Yeah, that that's what honey is. You, you're right, you do deserve insect jelly. We have some in the kitchen. <laughs> Okay, okay, listen. So I got some leather, some pigskin, some plain fur, some fur. That'll get us quite a bit of money. I could buy the dogs, but I could be I could actually feed the dogs. The dogs are carnivorous. Um, we could buy more food. I could buy a standing lamp. That is not worth buying. Uh, I don't know what I want to buy. Really, I don't want to buy anything from them. Uh, we're, listen, we're, we're well on food, and I appreciate that, but also, like... There. That's a lot of... Oh, I don't have that much food. Right. Well, let's say a hundred fungus. The dogs are really fucking good, but we're, we're not... No, we're not getting chocolate. Chocolate is way too expensive. It just makes people happy. And I don't care about happiness. Um, hold up. The raw fungus is the cheapest thing here. I should be buying all of that. Next up is... The wolf meat and hair meat cost the same amount. Like that. And then... No hair meat, I guess? I mean, this is a lot of food we're getting. Yeah, that'll do. Refugee chased. He's 76 years old. Uh, no, you know what, buddy? I, I think you're too old at 76. But, uh... Okay, I'm gonna say yes. <laughs> Ryan, alright. Uh, Ryan, tell me about yourself. He's a prodigal student. He's combat med tech. Is he injured at all? He's frail, he has a bad back and a bite scar. Great. He moves fast. Yay. Listen, Ryan. Ryan, buddy. <laughs> You're not long for this world. It's, it's not. It's not mince our words. I. 
you're old and I I know you know that you're not gonna live through very long. Go ahead and start making him a, a short bow in the hope that Ryan survives long enough to get up here. But he's gonna move real slow and these two will probably catch up to him before we get to him. Run, Ryan! Run as fast as you can! It, it's interesting, he's a fast walker so his move speed is improved, but he also has... He's frail and has a bad back, so he's not gonna make it. Run, Ryan! Run! Ryan, no! <laughs> oh well, he wasn't very good. Uh, which means I don't really need to be making another one of these, so just go ahead and turn that off. <laughs> well, that was definitely worth our time. Definitely worth our time. Excellent. Yes, move all this shit inside. We could buy a dog still. I shouldn't. I want one. Dogs are really helpful. You can tame them and train them to do all kinds of useful stuff. Hey, Bond Star. Hey, buddy. That's good. It might actually be too late. <gasps> no, go home, Bowen Stone. Go home. Abort. <laughs> Abort. <laughs> yeah, go hunt that squirrel. Let's let's try to get something out of it. Nope, never mind. Oh, cancel, cancel hunting the squirrel. Everyone's leaving because of temperature reasons. <sighs> Dang. Dang. Moving four, researching, resting, smoothing four. Okay, okay. Uh, mm. Yup. Yeah, we're not going there. We're in the mountains, it's in the middle of winter. I don't have enough food to take with us. <laughs> Man, it's just it's quite barren. I, I actually don't have a problem with the flash storm right now because I don't think snow can burn. Right? I mean, the other shit can burn, but snow doesn't burn. Right? Uh, I mean, if I'm wrong, it's still interesting. Yeah, I think it's just gonna burn itself out. Okay, well, I was about to say, I really hope we're getting close to, uh... Okay, wait, 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 these fuckers are asleep, right? No, even better! You tried to fight a warg and you won, but barely. Where are the other ones? You're sweeping, outside. Ball and so on, my dude, your time has come. Godspeed. Beautiful bastard. Godspeed. So this is bleeding to death. This is bleeding, but it's not dead. Yeah, that board did not go quietly into that good night. Hey, listen, man. You'll be fine. Just play it cool. Just play it cool. Yeah, good. It fell asleep. Consume Warg! Yep, that's definitely what I wanted. No, I want you to... Cannot haul. 
you need to haul that warg, though, my man. You need to haul that warg. Uh, stockpile, clear all animal corpses, preferred. Bring him home! There we go. I was gonna go for the insect jelly, but the warg is worth more meat. So we're just gonna keep stealing from, uh... Keep stealing from the insects. We have a weird, weird relationship with them. Yeah, no, we're not doing that. Oh, apparently bandits are using a nearby captain. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. No, oh, thank you. Oh, this is dead now. Uh, we can butcher the insects, but they just give insect meat, which is gross and people don't like, so probably not a good idea. Oh, fuck, this is just a skeleton. God damn it. <laughs> I, I didn't see the body. I just saw the head. I'm like, hell yeah. Nope, that's not any meat on them there, Bones. Okay, an arctic wolf. Ah, oh, it's so cool, I want to tame it, but we don't have enough food, god damn it. We'll make it through the winter fine, but... Begrudging these missed opportunities. I think I could take that one buck. Yeah, maybe. I... I'm not so sure. Well, this one's going to die in seven hours, so it really is down to one bug. Uh, you know, maybe. Maybe. I'm not going to risk it. I'm just going to run down Bone Stone in the middle of the night to steal stuff. Steal that sweet, sweet jelly. I'm not going to put your unnecessary risk. It's already unnecessary risk running down here like I am. Hey, hey buddy. Time has come. Tell you what. You know what? Uh... Oh, Jelly. Don't never do hauling, right? Right? You piece of shit. Haul, and then haul. Three of you. I'm sending down three of you. So if they do wake up, you're not alone. You'll probably be fine. Probably. We gotta get that Jelly. Alright? <laughs> it's very serious business. Ha ha! It's ours now, fools! Yeah, we're good. Don't need to fight them at all. Just keep them alive. They're more used to me alive than they are dead. Alive, they'll hunt and kill other stuff nearby that I can just steal. Dead, all they'll do is give us crappy food we don't enjoy eating. Excellent. This arctic wolf is probably going to make its way over here and try to hunt us, because there, there's really not much left here. Some arctic hares and some other things. Ah, damn. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm happy to be playing Grim World again as well. I'm playing it today because the uh, 1.0 is out. It's officially out of beta, and uh, some changes have been made. Not not a lot. I'd, actually, a lot of changes have been made, but it's it's the same game fundamentally. Soon enough, I'm sure I'm gonna mod the hell out of it and <laughs> go down the weird, wacky roads we did before, but. Not yet. Oh boy. Okay, keeping an eye out for food opportunities. Really the best food opportunity I'm seeing is this arctic wolf. I don't want to hunt an arctic wolf for food. But... May okay, nope, never mind. So once this falls asleep, we'll go down and steal this jelly and just do, do this every time it uh, produces it. Zombie mod, yeah. The uh, the Command and Conquer mod is really good. The introduction of Tiberium adds some weird fucking levels to this game that I really like. Just everything turning into poison. 
but you still have to engage with it is very neat. A little confusing, but very neat. Is that really the only insect type we have? I guess it is. <gasps> I want it! God damn it, I want it! Ah, uh, We can't feed the bear! And fucking nobody's good enough to tame the bear. Look at this. Best handler is... God fuck! I want it so badly! Uh, we wait until the bear goes to sleep and then hunt it, maybe? I, it, it has a lot of meat, but... Bears are so good as pets. Uh, is it asleep? Okay, ball and selling. Godspeed. Nah, it's not worth going after the bear. If we had guns, maybe, but with four short bows, hell no. Hell no. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Well, there's another 20 right there. Well, we can come back tomorrow. That's the jelly for the night. So we're getting like uh, two meals worth of jelly, I think, or one meal worth of jelly. Every day. So that's subsidizing. <laughs> Subsidizing our food a little bit. Yeah, I miss I miss our old bear kingdom that we had going on. It was a good time. Ooh, we can do it again. But I I can't even tame this bear. I want to, but I can't. One, I don't have food for it, and two, no one's good enough at taming animals to tame it, so... Just have to put that on the back burner for a long, long time. Ooh, very exciting. Spending our days smoothing floors. Thrilling shit. Thrilling stuff. It's been very quiet in terms of events lately. Which is fine. It also has me slightly concerned. The game probably, uh... Storyteller might be taking it a bit easier on us because of our, uh, our dead friend. We went up to five and then we dropped down to four. <gasps> Bleeding death in five hours. Oh, you killed a lynx, you stupid shit. Okay, yep, we'll take both of these. And listen, I can I can butcher the insects, but then it gives us insect meat, which people don't like. So I could just sell the insect meat or use the insect meat for train or taming, I guess. I don't fucking know. Hives will spawn additional insects over time. At least they're supposed to. Right now we get free jelly, so that's a thing. Yep, dead insects. They're frozen and they're covered, so they're not going to be a problem. Get the jelly, get the jelly. <laughs> oh, hey, another one. So one meal a day will be coming out of this. That's not bad. If I wall this in, I could keep other creatures from getting at it, but I'm fairly sure the bugs will respawn at some point. I think it needs to be warmer out than it is now, but I'm pretty sure. I'll have fun um, working on design work. Thank you for stopping by. Ah, it's already three. Dang. Yeah, the day goes very fast when I'm playing RimWorld. <laughs> it, even, even in Stellaris, it goes by fast. That's probably a, a good hallmark of when a game is a good fit, is when I don't even notice when the hours are passing by. Mm -hmm. 
We're almost halfway through winter. God damn. So, effectively, we have half the year to grow crops. Spring and summer. But as soon as fall hits, we have, like, a week into fall before it starts snowing. So, god damn. I have to keep that in mind. It's been demonstrated this year that we can mostly make it through the winter just by hunting, but god, it's it's barely. Just barely. These two are too far south to hunt. I, I, I want to, but they're just too far away. The jelly is worth it in my mind just because we run down, pick it up, go home, and it makes people happy to eat the jelly, so it's not just food, it's like super food. Or special food. Can you get addicted to jelly? God, I can't remember. Can nourish any creature and it never rots. It fulfills recreation as well. God damn, it's so good. I don't think I'm using it in our meals though, right? Animal products. Yeah, it's not being used in meals, so it's just filling this up as excess food. I'm fine with that. Another bear! Wait, is this the same bear? This is the same bear, wow. Oh, made its way down there. I, you know, I gotta eat, so that makes sense, but damn. Who's coming down here? Oh, nobody's coming down here. Ah, Hoshi is coming down here. <laughs> Get that free Ibex meat. Oh yeah. Bring me the insect jelly. Bring me all of it. Let me have the bear. We, we can't tame the bear. I'll fuck it up. You'll get fucked up by it. Ah, the hive's gone. Bad. Yeah, hives don't last forever if they're not being protected. So you can't just farm it forever like I was wanting to do. Ah, that's unfortunate. We only have the walls to smooth out now. Then we'll have enough downtime to... Turn these into these chunks and the blocks. We'll be able to move down to the bedroom down here, or the barracks down here, and people should be a little less uh, uppity about that. Put the granite door. Now, well, it was nice while it lasted. It got us through, you know, about half the winter. Now I actually have to consider hunting for realsies. Do not like that. Do not like that at all. Um. Man, there just really is not much out here. Bear, wolf, lynx, ram, hare. Yeah, that's it. This, these are all the animals on the map. <laughs> Well, I'm gonna keep streaming for, I think, another hour at least, but I'm gonna put in a cut here if you are watching on YouTube. This is it for today. There will be more of the RimWorld up tomorrow, same time, same place. Until then, make sure to comment, share, like, subscribe, all that silly stuff. Alexandrian Codex, Twitch, Twitter, YouTube. Toodaloo. Take care. Bye-bye.